This tip is going to discuss the downswing sequence. We're going to show you how to make the right downswing based upon the length of your backswing and the position of your backswing. As you can see here, I've got an old club shaft that's uh, got no club head on it sticking through my belt loops. It's through the uh, loop to the right of my belt buckle and to the left of my belt buckle. This is going to help illustrate the point of what I'm going to talk about and uh, it's, it's also an effective drill that you can do. From the top of the backswing, once we've got into our rotated, pivoted position, it's important to understand that the downswing has a sequence. What happens first is the hands or the butt end of the club drop into position. And what we're calling into position is they drop down so that the arms are back in front of me. In front of me is in front of this club shaft. If I did it wrong and say I slid my hips first, then my arms would drop behind me and they get stuck on my side hitting shots out to the right or big hooks. So what I want to do first is I want to get the golf club or the hands down in front of me, the arms down in front of me, to the point where they're below the belt buckle or below the shaft in this illustration. Then from there, I'm going to turn through the ball as hard as I can with my core and my hips and, and, and even the trunk to the finish, which is going to hit the golf ball. Now you'll notice if I do this right, the arms get in front, but then I've got enough body speed after that to work so that the club shaft never hits me. It would be incorrect to just throw your arms as well or just to do this. You've got to have the combination of the hands dropping and the arms getting into position and then releasing the body through to a full finish. Another important concept here is that what the body's doing through impact. The body needs to stabilize from the top of the swing. And by stabilize, we mean it's as if you're leveraging into the ground where the, the balls of your feet grab the ground or leverage as opposed to any jumping or any sliding of the weight. So from the club perspective, the downswing is to drive the hands down or the handle or the butt under the club so the arms are in position, then you turn your body through. From the body perspective, the body is stabilizing, keeping those knees square like we talked about before, and leveraging into the ground. Then from there, I can release through and let my feet come up off the ground. The feet do not come up until impact or slightly before. You do not want to have your feet up too early. Your downswing sequence will vary slightly depending on your backswing position. It's important to understand that we want you to be in a backswing position that's a little more what we call rotary as opposed to having your arms up high like we discussed earlier. We want you to have your body pivoting and then let your hands keep following that plane and have momentum carry us here. But not everybody's going to be in that position. So for those of you who aren't, there's uh, two different ways to process your downswing and we're going to go through that. Um, for the person who lifts his or her hands up a little more in the backswing into a more upright position as opposed to a more rotary or rounded position, the person that's got their hands up, they're going to definitely need to feel the golf club sense that it's going to drop straight down from there. They're going to need to feel like it's going to the outside of their shoe. That's the perception from the golfer's perspective. So the club's going to feel like it's dropping over here somewhere. You can see where I've put an X on the ground, and that's where it's going to, to drop. So you're going to perceive that it's going here because, again, if the hands are higher, you've got to feel it drop into position there before you can turn through a little more aggressively in the sequence or position we talked about. For a person who's a little more rotary in the backswing, in other words, the hands are a little more around it or around the body as opposed to, to up, so they're a little more rotary, they're going to feel as if their hands or the butt end of the club, yes, the same sequence occurs, but they're going to feel like it goes a little more at the ball because of the perception of where they're coming from. So again, higher hands in the backswing means more of a straight down dropping toward the outside of the right shoe, the kneecap, or the ankle. The more rotary backswing or more pivoted rounded look is going to have a downswing that's going to feel like it's going with the butt end a little more at the ball and then there's going to be that turning through. 
Keep in mind, no matter what you're doing from the top of your swing, wherever your arm position is, whether it's here or here, the sequence is to drive the handle into position, getting the arms back in front of you, and then to turn through to the finish aggressively. Higher hands are going to feel it straight down more. More rotary hands are going to feel like it's coming in toward the ball a little more, and then to the finish. It's important to understand that the downswing sequence is different on your short shots, such as chips and pitches and little small wedge shots, as opposed to when you're making a full swing. We've already said that when you're making a full swing from the top, it's handle down first so the arms can get into position while the weight shifts or stabilizes, and then it's turn through to the finish using the hips and the core finishing over to the left. That's the full swing. When you're taking a swing that's belt high or below, like a little chip or a little pitching motion, okay, you are not going to need to drive the handle down. All you need to do from that position is simply rotate the core or rotate the belt to impact and through the finish. So you're going to skip that step of driving the handle. It's not necessary. So once again, to review, from the top in a full swing, it's hands down, you know, arms in position as you're stabilizing. Then you turn the core and the hips through. On the smaller swing, such as chips, pitches, anything that's belt high or below, it's going to be just pivot the body through to a nice balanced finish position. The removing the ANS DVD has made a huge difference in my golf game. Before, my thoughts were constantly littered with negativity, and now since I've watched the DVD, I have more power in my swing, and my drives are going much, much farther and straighter than they ever, ever had before.